The automated visual inspection is claimed to be more stable, to be much faster, it's cheaper, but on the other hand, it's very complex to run and to, to get it work day by day. We have to demonstrate that the automatic visual inspection is far than better than the manual visual inspection. And so we have to, to get the trainee to this course to, to have a, a general understanding of the machine itself and all is going around. The idea is to develop a user requirement specification, is to put the user at the center. So it seems that these machines are, are seen sometimes like a black box and we want to, to be fully transparent on what's inside the box, how it works and how you get it validated to gain the trust of your quality organization and your regulators. In our world, labor costs a lot of money, so uh, if you can go into automation, you, you will profit. You should not expect that the machine can detect 100%, but it will do it better as human and far more consequent. Machines are going to make better and better and better, more powerful, so we are coming in the neighborhood of what a human eye can see. But we're not talking about a specific machine. We just give the tools in order to choose and to understand and to promote in your own organization. In this course, we want the people to realize that it's not only to buy a machine, it's to develop all the capabilities around. And there are capabilities to be developed in quality, in validation, in procurement, in uh, mechanical handling and in computer vision. First, I think it's to have a basic understanding of the regulatory landscape to know what, what is requested. And then we will go to establish a plan to validate and file these machines. I can see some of the questions I had coming into the seminar already being answered. So yeah, it's been a positive uh, first day. I think for me, the, the one standout point was the description of your equipment on a unit function. So that makes much more sense now and it's definitely something we'll adopt. I've worked a lot with operators, so I know their mind, I know their fatigue, I know how to stimulate them. And I can bring this knowledge into the group because it's really important if you buy an automatic machine, these operators should be involved in the machine because they, they are your first eyes. If something is wrong in the machine, they need to give some alarm and not think, oh, it's not my problem, just keep going. got a whole new uh, idea of optical inspection and I saw the broader concept and it was more complex than I thought and it was really interesting to see the team, the different backgrounds there are and how we complement each other and it was really good. Yeah.